Hey guys, Zach Epperson with Rover's Choice Network. Week two is in the books and what a week it was. We had close racing, we had upsets, we had a foot in my mouth. It was insane, but now it is time for Zach Attack's p -p power rankings of the week. At number 10, we have the Great Plains Herd. Um, two positives about going 0-2. Um, you didn't slip in the standings and at least you're consistent. So you have that going for you, which is nice. At number nine, we have the New England Sound. My bold prediction of week one, how you would be distracted with all the fall festivities and everything that New England has to offer and the pumpkin spice lattes, that is ringing true right now. You're 0-2, you slip one spot from number eight to number nine. At number eight, we have Strokes United. Strokes, you lost a tight one to the Mid-Atlantic Founders last week, but then you outdo yourself by getting doubled up by the new Con Empire this week. That gets you the Chernobyl Meltdown of the Week and my sh Shocker of the Week, which gets you a combined first ever double-double of the Premier League. You're trending, but in the wrong direction, Strokes United. You, have, you, you should change your name to Yoikes United. You are down two to number eight. At number seven, we have the Northwest Kodiaks. Kodiaks, hear me out. Strong performance this week. You had a comeback over last week. You took care of your business against the Great Plains Herd, but they are the Great Plains Herd, which they're making a case for being the dogs of the league. Follow this up with a big win next week and you'll climb the ranks. You stay at number seven this week. At number six, we have the New Con Empire. Empire pleasantly surprised here, all right? You really took it to Yoik's United. Um, you're at 500 right now. Let's see going into week three if you can get above 500. There's a big difference between two and one and one and two. You're up three to number six. Starting off our top five, we have the Midwest Frozen Tundra. Last week, you were my shocker of the week because of a strong performance. You were our premier matchup of the week against the Southwest Armada. Millions of people watching, tons of chatter, but you just kept tripping over the coffee table. You could not capitalize on being the premier matchup of the week. You are down one to number five. At number four, we have the Southeast Storm. Storm, you lost a tight one this week to uh, the Big South Outlaws, which are going to be one of the top teams in the league, if not the best, so it doesn't hurt you that bad. Circle the wagons here, let's recoup, and let's try and crack the top three in week three. You are down to number four. At number three, we have the Mid-Atlantic Founders. There was a huge question mark heading into week two. You answered that and more with a dominating performance against the New England Sound. You are up two to number three. Let's keep the momentum rolling. At number two, we have the Southwest Armada. They were a premier matchup of the week. A lot of close racing, very emotional against the Midwest Frozen Tundra, who is a very strong team. But in front of everyone, you had the opportunity and you grabbed it solidifying your spot as one of the top teams in the league you are up to number two so that only leaves one more team and one more spot taking it yet again for three weeks in a row are the big south outlaws you took it to the southeast storm you've solidified your spot as the number one team in the league the top dogs but listen to me now all right we've had short races everything up until now We'll see if we have a long distance race coming up. There's a huge difference between three and zero oh and two and one. And you have a lot of teams behind you nipping at your heels, but celebrate because you are the number one spot in week two, Zach attacks, Papa power rankings of the week.